Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode is, is going to start a couple part series. I'm not sure exactly how many parts I'm going to do this as. However, what I'm doing is I'm installing a third party gimbal into the um, 3DR Solo. So I got this gimbal actually with the um, uh, Ghost Drone 1. So I paid about 100 bucks for the Ghost Drone 1 off of eBay, and I knew it was going to be a POS. However, I felt just the 3-axis gimbal alone was, you know, worth 100 bucks. And I had looked at the um, uh, design of the Ghost gimbal online, and it looked really similar to the gimbal that goes to the 3DR Solo. So I figured for a hundred bucks I would take a flyer because again I got the gimbal, I got motors, I got ESCs, you know I got various parts. Um, so I figured for a hundred bucks it was worth it. Uh, you know because you know for a three axis gimbal you're going to pay you know around a hundred and a quarter, hundred and a half. Uh, you can get the two axis really cheap for about forty, fifty bucks. But I wanted the three axis gimbal and I've got the three axis. So I've got one, two, three motors here. And uh, what I've done is I've modified it a little bit to fit in here. Well, I want to back up a little bit. Actually, from the aspect of fitting into the uh, uh, 3DR Solo, it fits perfect. Just like the other one, uh, or the original gimbal does, it fits up to the center. The mounting holes line up perfectly. You know, so you have this, um, if I can pick it up, this top bracket which mounts to the Ghost. You simply, uh, well actually it's a bottom bracket that kind of mounts underneath, but you see here, you have the gimbal and then it attaches inside with these uh, rubber balls to the 3DR uh, front bay. And so it works perfect. And you have this little controller board. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the electronics more so in another episode. In this episode I, I simply want to introduce what I'm doing and uh, share it with you and also get your thoughts as I go along in this project. Because the other piece, the uh, the gimbal, actually comes with, oddly enough, um, a mini USB port to plug into the GoPro. Now, um, this is worthless to me because I do not plan on using a GoPro with this. So I desoldered this, took this apart. I'll do a little bit of an overlay up there so you can see the circuit board and what it comprises because it has pinouts for this USB, mini USB. Uh, it's not a micro, it's a mini. And as well as housed in this board are the accelerometers which control the positioning of this. So you, you do need this board. Now this back piece holds it fine. Now what I'm going to do, you know, so it locks in because the idea is you slide the camera in here and actually alone that locks it in pretty good. Um, as a sidebar, I'm going to put some capped on tape over this just to protect it because there, uh, excuse me, is a little bit of solder and rough edges there. So I'm just going to do that to protect the camera. Now I'm going to use the, the thigh eye and I'm going to install it upside down. Why am I going to install it upside down, you might ask? is I still want access to the HDMI port over here because I am going to use this HDMI cable I'm going to modify it and use that to connect to the camera and that's why I'm breaking this up into a couple different episodes the other piece is I've got the gimbal uh, data cable here now I'm going to try connecting that to here now I won't have control and I don't believe I can get control unless some of you guys have already figured this out because my understanding looking at the data sheet for the 3DR Solo is the second computer in here actually is a little Linux based processor that talks USB to the actual to the Solo controller so it's not like a normal controller where it's sending pulse width modulated information uh, to the controller to move it uh, like is in a servo nature or something again I'm simplifying this for those guys out there it's really not a servo because it's a brushless motor but it kind of works in a pulse width modulated way because there's a storm controller inside this piece right here and you can see the USB connection for the storm controller so I'll be able to set this to you know a specific view angle and it'll be locked to that view angle now I'll use the base um, base program I forget the whole name of it to actually set this up once I'm done and set its orientation for view however what this is going to give me is uh, you know basically three-dimensional stabilization physical stabilization on this camera now the other piece that I want to kind of talk about is this piece now it comes with this retainer ring that's supposed to mount here and connect to the lens of the GoPro 
Now as you can see this is not even close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably laser cut and you could also 3D print this and I'll make the files generally available so if you want to use it with a die eye or something because it's going to be specific to the camera. What I'm going to do is me you know measure all this out and then cut a hole that matches this diameter and then another hole that matches this so I can press the button, the power button, and then I'm going to pin it to this screw hole using this, um, you know, the screw that comes with it so I'll be able to remove it. So it'll have back pressure against here and it'll have physical connection around this lens to keep it in place and so it'll be pinned between the two so it'll be very solid. Um, so anyways, I, I, again, I wanted to kick this episode off. I wanted to share what I was doing. Hey, it's cold outside. So I figured I'd get some of the mods in. Now, um, you know, again, what I'm looking to do is to take power from this. I, I may, if I have time, try to experiment with a little bit with control. Um, because I'm not sure how exactly uh, it works, uh, the Ghost, anyways. However, it does look like a standard, you know, gimbal with power pulse with modulation so again I don't think I can get this to work but I am going to see about taking power off here I know some of the other guys have taken power directly from the battery but I need to, to see how many volts this is and that's why I'm going to do another episode on the electronics so I just wanted to talk about this number one share the mounting of the ghost drone gimbal fits inside the solo so big plus there and again, you can get Ghost. You can probably still get them for around 100 bucks. You might even find, you know, one out there for parts where you can get the gimbal. So that all works. Uh, you desolder the USB. And then, like I say, I'll put some general models out there for the camera front. So if you got a 3D printer or a laser cutter, you can manufacture your own uh, faceplate mount. And that pretty much does it. Um, so in the next episode, what I'm going to do is work on the wiring connecting this up, seeing how much power comes out of this cable, and sharing that with you guys, how to wire it up. And then the third episode, so I'm guessing I'm probably defining three episodes here, is I'm going to see about reworking this cable. Uh, because this is an HDMI cable. It plugs into the HDMI port, as you're aware, and I've flown this many times. But it's very stiff, so what I'm going to do is um, remove the sheeting, uh, remove this ferret core here, uh, for EMI. I don't think it's going to be an issue. And then what I may do is actually even try removing some of the wires depending upon how much, you know, um, you know, flexibility I get. Because as you can see, there's no flexibility. So it's going to fight the gimbal all the way. Uh, so I need to figure out a way to, uh, to, um, make this more flexible so if you got any comments on this let me know below i've looked at some ribbon cables out there hdmi ribbon cables i don't know what this terminates as inside here uh, i don't know if it's a full hdmi or just uh, micro to micro uh, anyways i'm going to try to use this existing cable without buying another cable but we'll see how that goes so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did let me know what you're having for lunch and uh hey comment below if you've done something like this or if you're interested if you got questions and don't forget to subscribe i put out regular drone content so very interesting stuff and we'll see you in the next video cheers